We are half an hour away from the field expanding again in vote 2016. Former Rhode Island governor and senator Lincoln Chafee is set to announce his bid for the White House at 5.30. The Republican turned independent turned Democrat is making his announcement at the George Mason University campus in Arlington. He, by the way, is the third Democrat to enter the race. Today, as for the Republicans, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal says that he plans to announce a run on June 24th, bringing the total number of Republicans in the race officially to 10. Now, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley spoke with members of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce today. His event there was at the museum in D.C., and O'Malley announced his bid for the White House this past Saturday, you may recall. Lots of electoral developments happening in this region. In Maryland, we're starting to see more of the ripple effect after Senator Barbara Mikulski announced that she would be retiring. That prompted Congressman Chris Van Hollen to announce that he would be trying to switch sides of the Capitol building. And today, another familiar to us name entered the race to fill his seat. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman on the Hill. He's on that story for us tonight. Scott? Yeah, Leon, it was expected that once Chris Van Hollen made his move, there'd be a lot of people vying to try and take his position, and we are seeing that tonight. A fifth name now on the ballot there, and it is Kathleen Matthews. So today, she made her announcement at the Silver Spring Metro Station, where she then immediately began courting voters. Matthews, certainly a familiar face to longtime ABC7 viewers, our, our former colleague here, spending more than two decades in front of the camera. The Washington Post actually went on to call her today a celebrity wild card to this race. She is, of course, also married to MSNBC hardball host Chris Matthews, so there's that. But Matthews insists she's got a lot more to offer than just that. My own experience as a working mother, as a business leader with progressive business policies, and also as a journalist who really understands this area. And I think when the people of this district see my opportunity agenda, my advocacy for raising the minimum wage, for uh, eliminating pay um, inequities that we see between men and women's salaries, really closing that gap on education. Now, Matthews resigned this year as head of communications and public relations for Marriott, a big job that she was willing to give up in hopes of getting one on the Hill. She's never held elect, uh, elected political office, but says she doesn't think that's going to hinder her. Four other names on the ballots, and we'll be following this race as it continues to develop. Live on Capitol Hill tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.